I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to relate volume of a rectangular prism with base and height. As you know volume of a prism is area of the base times height. Based on that here is a question for you. The question is a rectangular prism has volume of 100 centimeter cube. Find height of the prism if area of its base is 20 centimeter square. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Let's try to understand the question. What we are given here is that a rectangular prism has a volume of 100 centimeter cube. Volume is given to us. We need to find height of the prism if area of its base is 20 centimeter square. So what is given to us is two things. That is, let me write down here. We are given volume, which is 100 centimeter cube. And we are given area of base. We are given area of base, which is 20 centimeter square. What we need to find is height. We need to find height. So that we don't know. This is what we need to find. So that is how we can understand the question. Now, how do we find height? We know volume of a prism is area of base times height. So that is the relation between volume, area and height. So we can always write volume as Let's say area is A, we'll write, we'll give them letters. Let's say variables V, A, and height H. So volume of a prism is area of base. So area of base is A times height times height. So that becomes the formula which relates all the three things. We can substitute the values and then find height. We know two of these values, we don't know height. Or we can also rearrange the formula. So let's learn how to rearrange. If I divide by A, then we get volume divided by area is equal to height. So we can rearrange this formula to find height. Do you see that? Right? Now, since we know volume is 100 centimeter cube, Area of the base is 20 centimeter square. We can always calculate height. So let's write down these values. So height h is equals to volume, which is 100 centimeter cube. Let's write down 100 centimeter cube divided by area of base is 20 centimeter square. 20 centimeter square. So that gives us the height, right? So when you divide volume by area of base, you get the height. So now let's divide this. Now division is simpler here. 0, 0, that is dividing by 10. And then 2 goes 5 times. Or you could use the calculator. You can say 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. Right. So either way, you get your answer, which is 5. So 5 becomes the height. And what are the units? We have centimeter cube divided by centimeter square, so we are left with centimeter, right? To understand this part, you could see it like this. Centimeter cube means centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, right? So, and we are dividing by centimeter square, which is centimeter times centimeter. So one centimeter, centimeter cancel, the other one also cancel, you are left with just one centimeter right so the unit for height will be five centimeters so that is how you could solve and get your answer so now we can write down that height of the prism equals to five centimeters right now let me also sketch here the rectangular prism to give you a full picture of what we did we are given area of the base as around 20, right? So let's say this is the base. So when we make three-dimensional figures, 
you have to draw lines which are in these directions right so that becomes the base for us now we found height as 5 let's say this is this is the height for us so we're just making this height of 5 units let me just sketch this like this okay so and join these points so that becomes the rectangular prism for us for which we found that the height is five centimeters so this height from here to here is five centimeter and the area of the base a was given to us as 20 centimeters square right so that becomes the picture of what we did just now well at times you can first sketch a diagram and then do the needful now what we learned in this video is how to find height by rearranging the formula do you see that so the formula which we know about volume is volume is area times height so height is volume divided by area that is how we calculate it you could also do the same calculation in a different way let's do that now so we are given volume is 100 so we know volume is area times height area of the base volume is 100 so we could write here 100 centimeter q equals to area is 20 centimeter square 20 centimeter square times height now to calculate height we should divide this 100 by 20 right so we get 100 centimeter cube divided by 20 centimeter square equals to height and that gives you as we have seen just now as 5 centimeters 5 centimeter equals to height so that could be another way to solve so you could sketch right volume as area times height substitute the values which are given to you then divide the numbers to get the unknown height right and the first method we actually rearrange the formula here we rearranged the value so here we rearranged formula so both are correct methods to do adopt the one which you like i am anil kumar and i hope that helps you to understand the whole concept you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best